Greetings YouTube, this is the Sarcasm Detector coming to you again with another episode of my playthrough of Ark Survival Evolved on the Acrimony server, and in today's episode, we're not going to be doing any exploring, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of crafting. I want to lay the foundations of my next big project over on Lava Island, so we're going to be uh, gathering some mats, crafting some things, and um, heading over to Lava Island to actually get started on that. And um, we might actually do a tame or two in the process of uh, of showing you this video. So uh, let's get to it. So I have my uh, dragon here. This is actually my weight dragon. And I have a thrasher here. And I'm going to be gathering stone and metal. I need the stone for cementing paste. I have a whole lot of chitin. And of course the metal. So the next project is going to be made out of metal and glass metal. So this is a little bit of a grindy bit. So I won't be showing that too much to you guys. I'll uh, I'll bring you back once we uh, move this load back down to the pagoda. All right, guys, we got a full dragon load. This is one of my fastest dragons on the server and it's been reduced to a crawl. There's quite a bit of metal and stone on here. So I'm going to move these over inside. Let's grab the stone first. Ugh. So we're going to put the stone here in the alchemy forge. And we're missing some chitin. Which we have quite a bit of here. Fourteen hundred should suffice. And this does about 10 at a time. And the metal I'm going to move over here to the Epic Forge. And I can't actually carry that much at a time. About a stack and a half is my limit. Okay, shenanigans must have been taken care of. So I got a lot more unloading to do and I'll bring you right back as soon as I'm done with this part. All right, we're back. We've moved everything off of the dragon and uh, let's take a look in this guy here. We've gotten 460 cementing paste. We can turn that off. Put that in there. So we got 723 cementing paste and one, two, three, four, five, 500 metal foundations. I want actually 600 to start. I'm going to be building something very, very big. So I'm going to need at least 600 foundations to start. That's actually a little bit of an overestimate. You know, when you're building with Arik, things happen, things break, you know, they don't always place or snap correctly. So you always make a little bit more than you need. So I, I, I think I need exactly about 578 foundations. So I'm going to go with 600 to start. I have uh, 520. So we're, get, we're getting there. Oh, by the way, um, a lot of this I did myself. But the tribe actually helped out significantly. I've had, I've had donations of 
of metal ingots and cementing paste and as well as completed metal foundations from tribe members. They're all chipping in to help with this project. I'm going to need 400 or so, I'm going to need 600 uh, metal foundations and um, probably an equal number of slope metal roofs. And that's not to count the, the metal walls, the metal ceilings, the glass steel stuff. It's going to be a huge, huge project. Let's take a look here at the Epic Forge and what we have going here. So quite a bit of metal and it's already cooking. We've already got quite a bit cooked up. So let me actually start moving some of this stuff to the smithy. Actually, I wish this was a little bit closer to each other, but it's a little bit too late now, but um, I'll, I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes, guys. All right, well, I ran out of cementing paste or I didn't have enough cementing paste to make all the um, metal foundations that I wanted to make. So I went out and gathered a little bit more rock. Um, I have enough chitin, so I made a little bit extra cementing paste, about uh, 200, 300 extra. Um, so that's going to give us about 70 extra metal foundations, and it's, it's going to be enough. I mean, we're going to have about 592 metal foundations. It's perfectly fine. We don't have to have the perfect 600. We're not going to use all of them in the first place. Um, now all I have to do is actually load these finished metal foundations onto a heavy lifter. Wow, they're 400 each. So um, I do have a dragon that can lift that up. I have a dragon that has about 4,000 weight. So this should be about halfway for him. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem and um, you know what I, I'm really sorry guys I really dislike doing cuts and jumps all over the place I really prefer my videos to be a one take video from beginning to end um, no matter what happens or screws up during the video I just prefer doing it as a one take so I, I, I'm a little bit uncomfortable doing these jumps but uh, this is a very grindy process, so you're going to have to forgive me. We're going to have to jump around a little bit. I'm going to join you guys. We're going to get back probably on a lava island, and we're going to start laying out the foundations there. So as soon as this is done, and I've loaded up all these metal foundations onto a heavy lifter, we're going to head over to lava island, and we're going to start the process there. So I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, well, I lied to you. I didn't grab one of the small dragons. I actually took the cryo goddess out instead for the main reason is that um, in case there's any gigas that spawn over here, the cryo goddess can actually tank them a little bit and can actually take them out. Whereas the small dragons, um, they can also take out a giga, but it takes about 10 minutes. This one can do it in a few minutes. It's a little bit faster. It's a little bit easier. So the location we're on or we're at, let me pull up the map and and the GPS as well. You can see here we're at the northwestern corner of Lava Island. Now this area, we saw it, we took a look at it while we were exploring the Lava Island caves about seven episodes ago in episode two. And uh, let's put those away and taking a look here you can see this area is very very flat or at least it looks very flat to me when I'm when I'm walking around here and such a huge flat area is absolutely perfect for building a ginormous base which is what I'm going to be doing here I am planning on building something pyramidy it's not going to be just a regular pyramid. I'm actually going to do um, a double pyramid. So I'm going to have a regular pyramid at the bottom. And I'm going to try to make an inverted pyramid on top of that. So it's going to be basically an hourglass made out of metal and uh, glass metal at the same time. It is going to be a huge project. It's going to require a lot, a lot of resources. As you can see, I've spent the last... Uh, two, three weeks stockpiling metal cementing paste and building those um, 
those metal foundations with help. I wasn't doing it alone. We had the tribe. The whole tribe was helping out. So it's going to be a project that's going to span multiple episodes. Hopefully we can finish it quickly and not take like three months to do it. I'm hoping to do it in a couple of weeks. Depending on the resources, of course, the other tribe members are going to try and help out as much as they can. They also have their own projects going. They're also... Some of them are trying to uh, expand their bases, uh, convert their bases from stone to metal, or moving off the southern tropical islands and uh, founding bases in other locations. So they're, they're going to be helping out, but they do have their own projects to, to work on. Pardon me. Now, I'm going to start by laying out the foundations. This is going to be huge. Um, I'm thinking of doing a base of about 24 by 24. That's why we needed about 600, 600 metal foundations. So I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to have to actually clear some of the shrubbery and trees and rocks and stuff from this area, as well as taking care of some of the critters that are here. And, uh, oh, look, there's a Carno and a T-Rex. There's more than one Carno, actually. Um, so that's going to take a little bit of while. It's going to be a little bit boring for you guys. So um, what I'm planning to do is, after I'm done here, I'm actually going to record a taming. So I'm going to tame something. I don't know what it is. It's, there's, I saw 135 quets flying around the area. Maybe something else. It depends. And I'm actually going to play that on the main screen. Hopefully it'll be something interesting, and I'll play the building, the laying of the foundations in the smaller screen. And I'll bring you guys back after we're done with all the groundwork here. So uh, hopefully it's something interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy. We'll be right back after this jump. Alrighty guys, I have found something that I have yet to play with. Or even... Uh, even see this is a puppet see if I can get a scope on him oh wait that's not gonna work what Wild male puppet. So I guess they have the same levels that the godlings have. Are you coming at me? Or are you just... Uh... That's certainly strange. He's kind of small. I wonder if he'll fit in the taming pen. Yoink! Did I pick him up? Can't quite see. Yeah, he's right there. All right, let's uh, let's head right back to the base and see if we can actually drop him in the taming pen. Wonder what type of kibble he has. I think uh, well, the godlings themselves have their own type of kibble. They have um, holy and divine kibble, which is made from their eggs and divine salts, which they drop. They also like, I believe, Quetzal Kibble, primarily, and then Terror Bird and Gallimimus Kibble. Gonna have to uh, actually look this up to see if it's the same thing or if they have their own uh, preferred type of Kibble. I do have some uh, of the Godlings eggs, so I wonder if the Holy and Divine Kibble works. It was, we'll, we'll find out in a second. I wonder what kind of torpor he has. Oh, slow render base. Just gonna wait for the taming pen to show up. Now he is kind of tiny, so I'm worried he might be able to escape through the doorways. Oh, no, he's good. Okay. So I'm come off here and 
I'll use this, which is a a yawning bow. It's from Seven Strength Kit. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, 30 cc arrows, so they do about 3,000 torpor. Not very aggressive. Okay. Ow. Oh! So that, that definitely did not work out as planned. Okay. So uh, let's uh, not use those since he has a ranged attack he can use against me. He's going to pick up my stuff here. Of course, I was in cloth armor as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the flame goddesses. Flame goddesses? The cryo goddesses breath weapon. Is he getting hit by it? Okay, let's uh, do a turn here. I mean, I went too far. Let's uh, swing around. X. Okay, looks like he's knocked out. Do I have any narcotics on me? Sure don't. All right, so let me just head back to the pagoda. And I'm just gonna tab out real quick to see what kind of kibble this guy likes, because I do have a fridge full of different types of kibble. Really love scorpion kibble. That would be Palmino Scorpio. Yeah, here we go, okay. And I think I have a divine draught here somewhere. Yeah. Man, that, that... He shoot me twice with his uh, little pistol thingy, and uh, yeah, maybe next time I should wear some better armor when when trying to tame these guys, or just um, stick with um, the goddess. Oh, I didn't even need to use that. He was hungry. Okay, let's take a look. Two eighty-seven, I. Th think yeah that's not a perfect team so we must have hit him but damn let's take a look here 33,000 health less than 500 stamina that's a little bit weak quite a bit of carry weight melee damage is in the 700s movement speed is in the is just a hundred And just taking a look at him, just turn off this UI here. Not a fabricated pistol, lol. Oh, and he gets a uh, cute little hat when you're riding him. Ah, okay, interesting. Oh, he can't fit through doors. This is a sprint speed. 
She's fine over there. Uh, oh, he can jump. Oh, wow, he can jump. That's his attack. Okay. What about C? Does a little giggle and drops one of these. Oh, well, let's test this out. So he does uh, have a little mine as well, I believe. Oh, here we go. Jump out of the way. Well, come on, guys. Jeez, I was in the middle of a fight here. Jeez. Okay, never mind. Oh, I have that turned off. Okay, let's try that again. Almost uh, 845... Okay, not bad. Alright, that doesn't show up in there. Okay. What about, let me see if I can... You know what, it's close to my guy here. Let me move the Anklia off before I drop a bomb. What do you mean I'm too hot? I'm like naked. How can I be too hot? Oh, and he's following me. Let's put that there. Come back here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. So you don't, it's kind of RNG which one he drops. I'm expecting an earth shattering kaboom. An earth shattering kaboom. There we go. 37.7k just for that. All right, not bad, not bad. Fairly interesting. Let me just jump off here. As he, he does have a saddle thing. And you know what? Let me just run in here. I did pick up something from when I was fighting the... Puppet Master, here it is. Primitive Puppet Master's toy. Equip this on the tamed puppet to make it stronger. Or offer it as a great sacrifice. Upgradable with Midas. Armor 100, weapon damage 100. Let's, um, this is just a primitive one. Let's get them on here. And it's basically similar to the artifacts, the god artifacts that the godlings have. So let's just, uh, just wait for this to disappear, and we'll uh, we'll try to find out what his DPS is again. Uh, that seems lower than the last time. Okay, 1353. Let's go press F. Oh, wow, 2706. So yeah, that did double it. Interesting, and these are upgradable with Midas. Have I shown you guys the upgrade with Midas yet? I'm not sure that I have. So what we're going to need is the God Shrine here, which we have. By the way, these are the kibble for the godlings. So you can see here, uh, Fire God Egg and Divine Salts, etc. We don't have any Elder Gods on the server because they're massively overpowered. So we don't can't use those kibble. But let's see if we can find some stuff that is worth sacrificing. I only have... Offer as a small sacrifice. Well, I want to keep those. Let's uh, take these. This one to save a couple of them. Are these sacrificable? No. 
brought it back. Anything else? Oh yeah, so we have Trophy God Stand, Trophy God Head, two more Trophy, and oh, we already have some Midas Touch, but that's fine. We'll, we'll use them in a second. So what we do is we drop them in here. And we click Sacrifice Offerings a few times. Alright, well that's some really bad RNG right there. All that and not a single thing, but... In any event, let's actually use these guys. So if we read this, consumable, use this for a chance to upgrade quality of all currently equipped armors or saddle, and the first slotted weapon in the leftmost slot, and the first goddess platform artifact or toy, obtained from gods or sacrifices. So uh, let's see, do we have a pike? Because I don't think I have a good pike. We'll put that here. What? I'm gonna drop my. Where'd my. Okay, here. Transfer, 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 transfer. We'll leave that in there. And um, I don't have a set of chitin ramshackle. Yeah, we'll grab these. Okay, so it's gonna upgrade randomly one of these. Or this, or that. And nothing, okay, is there, okay, here we go. So from Ramshackle, 92 armor, 84 durability to Journeyman, 108 to 117. We'll swap that around and, oh, here we go. So from a plain old primitive, 100, to that. You know what, I'm gonna drop the primitive one in the locker. Maybe we'll get a even better one. Use. Here we go, apprentice, apprentice, apprentice. Oh, and a ramshackled pike. Let's drop the ramshackle back in the chitin drawer. And I'm having too much fun here. 102, 77. 119. So this one's even better. Uh, this is like slot machines. This is way too addicting. Journeyman Pike. 41, 130, 103, 53. Interesting. So can we get an even better version of this toy? Here we go. Ma oh. Mastercraft. That's a lot of armor and a bit of weapon damage and apprentice helmet so the helmet 8471 and not much of an increase in armor but not transferred there we go so we only have a we don't have many of those left going to drop this and we're going to just burn the last three another apprentice helmet and even better. So that's how the Midas Touch works. And you might think they're a little bit overpowered, but they're a pretty rare drop from godlings and or sacrifices to uh, the dragon gods through the dragon shrine. And you notice I just burned through quite a lot of sacrifices and got zip for it. So, two more things. Let's use them. Wow. Okay. And 
Mastercraft gauntlets. I think we'll save... Did we get a pike out of that? No. Drop this. I don't know, should we, should we try again? I think we should, I think we should, just as a... Oh boy, okay. oh, 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 okay. Journeyman helmet, apprentice, 96. Okay, that one's definitely better. The pike is a journeyman pike, 140 durability. And, oh yeah, okay, that's definitely better. We'll drop this and return that here. And you know what? We'll return the pikes, hello, pikes to the melee doohickey. Server lag, come on, get over it, all right. Any second now, okay. And I'll return the kibble to the kibble thingy. Now, this is absolutely amazing. I got a... Where did you go? Oh, right here. Level up available. Yeah, we're going to level you up some and then some in a second, dude. So let's... Uh, let's. Okay, so we know his DPS from that. Put this on. Getting a little bit of lag there, but um, yeah, you just saw that. That was about, oh boy, 7,000 DPS. And his armor is through the roof as well. We haven't even leveled him up yet. He's still, he's still there, 704. How much does he gain? Okay, so this is my new fun toy. Yeah, it's definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. So, uh, we'll save all that fun for a different episode. I think this went a little bit over time. So, we're gonna jump right back to the, uh, the building of what we're doing over at Lava Island. And we'll catch you after the jump. Alrighty, guys. So, here we have it. A 24 by 24 foundation made out of metal that actually took about 20 minutes uh, real lifetime to to place uh, it took about what three weeks worth of gathering and crafting to get everything done and i believe i have 10 metal foundations to spare i was actually getting a little bit worried towards the end there whether uh, i had made enough um you might have noticed there were some breakages and misplaced pieces here and there. But uh, we made more than enough. So um, what's left to do is maybe place a foundation to have a stargate. But I'll do that at a later time, perhaps off camera. And um, an entranceway. So there, there, I think there are some stuff that I will do off camera for this. But I will try to show you as much of the progress as possible. Uh, in the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed the in-flight entertainment, so to speak. Hopefully it was something interesting. I'm going to actually go off and do that right now. And, you know, the little bit of timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly time travel stuff, you will be able to... You would have already seen what it is. You already know what I tamed. Um, I have no idea. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a like uh, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Subscribe right meow, right meow. And uh, remember to share it with all your friends. Have yourselves a good day. This is the Sarcasm Detector saying good night. Mm -hmm.